The highlight of the canoe sprint racing calendar is without doubt the World Championships. This year, 2010, was an exceptional year for racing and results. At this point, usually half through an Olympic cycle, we begin to see an indication of who may well be in the mix come Olympic Games in two years time. 2010 threw up some fantastic results, some familiar names restated their case in the world order of things and there was some exciting new blood on the podium which will all lead to an even more exciting 2011 when qualification for the Olympic Games takes place in Zeged in August. Here's what happened and here's the best of the action. The men's kayak racing over the classic distance of 1000 metres is always a superb spectacle and 2010 was no exception. The men's K1 event was to bring together the current world champion Max Hoff from Germany and the Olympic champion Tim Brabantz returning to the sport after an 18 month layoff. And the question on everyone's lips was how good could Brabant be and would Hoff be able to defend his world championship title? In the men's K2 event, the German pairing of Martin Holstein and Andreas Ehler have really been dominating this event for some time. The men's K4 event, however, was a completely different matter. Spectacular watching 38 of the best athletes in the world lined up on the start, giving it everything to get their boat down that course in as quick a time as possible, and this year the field was more open than ever. Just watch and see the action as it unfolded. This is a strong performance from Le Francais. They're absolutely storming away with this race. They just have asked all the questions of the rest of the field and no one's answering any of them to yet. You see the French with the red, white and blue flashes on their paddles. Great rhythm and they move it through the 750 metre mark. Through the, They're at the two. The French teeth are gritted. They're heading for the line. There's a hundred to go. The white boat of France. Allez les Francais. They take the win ahead of the Germans. They're responding well in lane number six. This is going to be a showdown between France, Germany and Belarus. But it looks as if the French are holding them all off. France are moving into the last 20 metres of the race and the rest of the field is pulling back. But there's no doubt about the winners. That's a great gold medal race from France in lane number four. They take the gold medal. Second were the Olympic champions, Belarus. And third place went to the Czech Republic with a late push from the four of Horske, Suchek, Havel and Sturba. What a fantastic gold medal for the French. Congratulations! Turning now to the women's kayak class, well it's easy to see that Hungary has dominated for the last number of years. Coming into Poland this year in 2010, the question on everyone's lips was would they do it again? Let's see how the action unfolded. And it is indeed Natasha Jonic in lane number six. The Hungarian is making a push through the latter stages of the race. But Osipenko from the Ukraine and that yellow and blue boat is going stroke for stroke. They're moving into the last 30 meters. Can Jonic hold on or will Osipenko want to add the world championship to her Olympic title? It looks like the Ukrainian has just one thing in mind and that's a win and that's exactly what she gets. Osipenko from the Ukraine takes first place followed by Natasha Janic from Hungary in second and a late surge from Rachel Cawthorn in Great Britain gives her the bronze medal. And the green vest of Hungary looking very strong and powerful in the last 30 metres of the race and a late push from the Russians in lane number 7 that Salakova and Sergeva is moving them up into second place and who's going to hold third? Well I think it could well be the Austrians indeed it is, I think it's Schuring and Schwartz of Austria and if that's confirmed that will be a first ever World Championship medal for Austria and that's a fantastic result and those racers will certainly be writing all of the headlines back home tonight. As for the Hungarians, very impressive performance and uh, they've got to be held on favourites going forward into the next year. 
This is the women's K4 event. This is bound to be a great dust down between the German crews, headed by Fanny Fischer in the front of that boat in lane number four, and Hungary in lane number five, spearheaded by Natasha Yonix. And they move down towards the 200 meter mark. And they move through the 200 with a third of a boat length ahead of the Germans outside them in lane number four. It looks like the Hungarians are pulling away and going to dominate this event as they've done in previous years. Natasha Yonix in the front of the boat and behind her Tamara Chepesh. Third place Kathleen Kovac and bringing up the rear Dalma Benedek. It looks like this is going to be another Hungarian goal. This is a very impressive performance from this crew. They just love this event. They eat it up. They're moving into the last 20 metres of race. There's no doubt in the winners. It is Hungary first, Germany second and I do believe that's a hometown bronze medal for the Polish crew. In the canoe class, there was the eagerly awaited contest between Sebastian Brendel from Germany, Vadim Menkov from Uzbekistan and Attila Voida from Hungary. Where else would you get the European champion, the world champion and the Olympic champion all lined up? And there was a lot of pride at stake in that race. But equally exciting was going to be the C2 1000 metre event, which contained the Romanian pairing of Drumatrescu and Michalacci versus the Badanovic brothers, who were the Olympic champions. And of course, the first appearance in a senior event, the Russian wunderkind of Korovashkin and Perovkin, who've won everything in the junior major international events over the last two years. And it is indeed Menkov from Uzbekistan that leads the field through with Brendel pushing on into second place. Sebastian Brendel from Germany has got his nose ahead of Attila Voida while Simon Senku seems to be slipping away. They're moving down into the last 30 metres of the race. Vadim Menkov, is he strong enough to rebuff the Hungarian? Menkov is coming to the line and looks like Menkov does it just ahead of Voida but that was a great finish from these two fantastic athletes. It looks like Vadim Menkov from Uzbekistan gets the win just ahead of Attila Voida from Hungary. Vadim Menkov, very strong performance there, asked all the questions of Attila Voida from Hungary and the Hungarian just couldn't make it despite a late late surge and Menkov has really put down a strong statement about his credentials for the 2012 games. And what a great World Championships the Canoe Sprint 2010 event turned out to be. Lots of good favourites making steps forwards in their preparation for the next Olympic Games. What an absolute crowd pleaser the 200 metres turned out to be. It was an absolute storm. And of course it was fantastic to see the para canoe athletes joining in and being part of the canoe family. Well, a hard winter's training lies ahead. Let's see who are the names in the frames come 2011. And you got to be there. And here's the best of the action.